In a previous screencast, I showed you how to perform a case study based upon what I like to call the formula approach. Recall that we've got this beam, we have a force, a length, capital L, we've got the width of this beam, little b, the thickness of this beam as little d, and when you apply that force F, we get a deflection. However, there's a quicker and better way, if you know what you're doing in Excel, to solve case studies and that is known as uh, the data table approach. So in this screencast, I'm gonna show you how to use a one-way data table. We're going to do a case study on little b here in this example. So again, if you've already got your spreadsheet set up to solve a single scenario, which is what we have here. So if I change this force, something like 200 Newtons, we see that it's automatically updating the deflection in millimeters, and I've done all the conversions from meters to millimeters, I've got all my conversion factors here, and so on. So if you've already got your spreadsheet set up to solve a single scenario, it's really easy to solve multiple scenarios or do a case study using a data table. So what we're gonna do in this screencast, I'm going to vary B between 0.5 and 1.5 inches. So I'm gonna set this up. This is gonna be what we call a column input vector. This is what we are inputting into the case study. I'm gonna go 0.5, in increments of 0.6, I can drag all the way up to 1.5. And then the output then, and we have to go up one cell. To set up a one-way data table, it's important that the cell that's up one row and over one column, so this cell is empty. And that's sort of where we're gonna link the solution on the spreadsheet to the output. So we have to leave that cell empty. I'm gonna put my label up here for uh, delta in millimeters. And you notice I'm going straight from inches, so B in inches, to delta in millimeters. Our spreadsheet up here converts our input B, and that's going into the column input vector cell, which is that. So our spreadsheet is already converting B in inches and doing the calculations and outputting delta in millimeters. So it's almost set to perform a one-way case study. This special cell here, that's one up and one over, we link that to where on the spreadsheet delta is calculated. We call this a pointer formula. It's just equaling cell E7. So that's where we obtain it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna highlight this entire block of cells. Note that I'm highlighting the top row the data table tool needs the upper right hand corner of this selection to be where on the spreadsheet it's getting the result. So here's what's going to happen when I perform the one-way case study. It's going to take each of our elements in our column input vector, that's 0.5 to 1.5. It's going to place it into the column input cell that, I, that we specify in the data table tool. Because this solution is a live solution, Whenever I change cell B, cell B12 to something like two, it's an automatic update here. And you notice that this special cell changes. And whatever is in this special cell, when the data table tool places each of these values into this column input cell, it's gonna output that and put it next to it. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight this entire region. I'm gonna go up here to uh, data, what if analysis, and we're gonna do data table, and we don't have a row input vector. A row input vector you'll see in the next screencast is for two-way data tables. So I'm gonna select here the column input cell. Where on the spreadsheet do we wanna place B? Well, B goes into cell B11. That's what it's linked to. That's what we wanna link it to. So I can, the column input cell is gonna be B11. I can click OK. And when I run that, it takes each of those values in the column input vector, places it in the column input cell, whatever is linked to this special cell in the upper right hand corner, when each of those is placed in that cell, it's gonna place next to it. And that's the result of the one-way data table. So this is a great way to perform a quick case study using a one-way data table in Excel. We can finish this by plotting delta as a function of b in inches. 
And if we take a look at the plot of deflection as a function of B, we see we have a reciprocal relationship between deflection and B, because if we look at the equations up here, delta is one or is dependent upon one over I, but I is directly proportional to B. So delta is a function then of one divided by B. Thanks for watching.